Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Modesty and today I will be talking about my experience attending magic. So let's jump right off into it. <laughs> so I attended uh, magic in August this year and it was amazing. Like I had been looking for vendors for such a long time, for years. Um, and I finally got a chance to attend magic and locate these great awesome vendors so um <clears throat> i'm going to touch on the pros and then i'll touch on the cons <laughs> so anyways i went to magic and um it was pretty easy as far as the registration registered went in showed my id got my badge and then i was able to go into magic the first part i attended was the project women's show and i didn't know that there was a difference between um, the project women's and the magic show, like literally, um, y'all don't come for me, but I just didn't know. It was just something that I didn't, I thought magic was just one show. <laughs> so, um, the project women's show was very, very, um, uh, interesting. I'll say, um, they had some really great pieces for 2019. We got to see, I got to see like what all will be in season for spring, what all will be in season, um, uh, like as far as colors, trends and things of that sort. It was pretty awesome. Um, and then also I got to see, um, I got to tell the difference as far as the pricing. Um, Project, Project Women's is more so a higher end um as far as when it comes down to wholesale purchasing um their pieces literally are like higher their some pieces were 25 some pieces were 45 and so you know you would have to mark that up i don't know if you go by 2.2 or 2.5 or 3.0 markup um me personally i'm going by the 3.0 markup um but yeah, like if you already have those customers and you want to carry um, high end, then Project Women's I think will be great for you. Um, Magic is the lower end prices where you can get pieces for like, let's say $8 a piece or um, like $10, you know, a piece, $17 or whatever it may be. Um, they're on the lower end and you can still mark those up 2.5 3.0 3.5 however you want to mark your prices up um i do i am starting a women's clothing line i already have a children's clothing line which is sunflower bay kids um and the women's clothing line i will disclose that name later in the future um but I was shopping for my women's clothing line. I did get a chance to check out the kids, the children's, I think it was called the children's world or something like that. Um, I was able to check out the kid clothing. They were pretty, it was pretty nice. Um, the vendors were cool. Some of the vendors were cool in the, um, the area. Some, um, I don't know if they were just like not fun to black people, but <laughs> Like, literally, I felt kind of discouraged a little bit because I've noticed some vendors would kind of, like, turn their heads um, when they see me walking up. And I noticed some would, um, you know, it was like they did, just didn't want to acknowledge me, um, which was totally fine with me. Like, I don't have to, you know, at the end of the day, green is green. And I don't have to spend with those vendors. But that experience was very horrible horrible for me because um I didn't you know I expect racism pretty much in America like wherever you go and being black but I didn't expect I I guess I wasn't looking forward to that and I didn't know that like it was going to be there too like that um it was definitely not something that I wanted to uh you know just encounter um so that part of Project Women's, I will say, left a bad taste in my mouth um, attending that part of the show, I'll say. Uh, as far as magic, when I went over to the magic, uh, I think it was at the Las Vegas Convention Center, 
when I went to that one, I left the Mandalay Bay, I actually had an amazing time. The experience was so, so much better. Um, I was around people that were around my age, like um, young, I'm 30, excuse me. They were young, like in their 20s, 30, you know, just around my age. And I felt more comfortable, like there wasn't side eyes going on. There wasn't like people just like staring and not wanting to just, you know, give you a card or things of that sort. I felt more, um, the buying experience there was way better than the buy buying experience at Project uh, Women's. So, um, a lot, I noticed a lot of people, they just, I guess they just didn't want to put the videos out. I probably should put a disclaimer or whatever, but it's, I'm, I'm not a prejudiced or a racist person. I just, I'm just speaking clearly on my experience. Um, I found some amazing vendors, um, some amazing vendors. I got a chance to build relationships with, um, some, some of the, uh, sales reps for those, uh, vendors and um it's just amazing like it's it was so amazing it, it, it lifted my spirits to be at the magic show versus the project women the magic show had a lot of the on trends a lot of the the clothing pieces you can really just touch and feel and just you know um see if it's really worth what you know they're asking for and also negotiate prices on that um on the prices if you felt like you know it was a bit much you can definitely negotiate prices or whatever um uh, it was great to as far as the opportunity to attend magic i had an amazing time i wouldn't change it for nothing like i really feel like the investment was major and um, like I said, I was able to build rapport with some of the vendors and I'm still building, building rapport with some of the vendors as well that I have come encounter with, that I've placed orders with um, during Magic. Um, Magic was really, really fun. Like I really had an amazing time. I 